Hey VC, it's uh, Thursday, yeah. And I'm worse for the wear because I, um, you know, really not really rested well. Um, it's funny, when I tour, I get into the rhythm. And I can sleep. Yeah, I haven't listened to this in a while. I'm listening to Morton Sabotnik until spring. I think Going Cabbage um, showed uh, a Sobotnik r record, one that I don't have, but this one is, um, as you can hear, I haven't played this in ages, I decided to pull it out. This is excellent. This is, um, I've had this a long time, 1976 is when this was issued. 1976, that's about when I bought it. Um, before I forget, I do want to chime in and um, um, help with the reminder that there is a uh, VC uh, photo uh, collage going on again this year. I believe Punk Texas is um, the guy behind it. There are several reminders throughout the VC, so um, I just wanted to add my voice, you know, that, you know, send in your photos of your uh, wall, your collection to Punk Texas. So for his um, uh, upcoming video, jeez, uh, uh, it's almost like an um, archive or something, you know what I mean? It's like, uh, it's a slideshow, but it's like, a, it's like, you know, kind of a document. Yeah, it's like a document of um, this community, which... You know, I greatly applaud. It's a great idea. Um, I'm worse for the wear. I'm still, um, as it were, coming down from the gig. Uh, I had forgotten at first to link to the interview. I did put it on my last video, the Indrima recap gig. I talked about uh, an interview that I just did that's um, posted online. I... Um, put the um, link there and if I don't forget I'll put it here I might forget I'm uh, like I said I'm probably gonna go back to bed here uh, in a while because it's just how it goes you know it's like um, because it's a natural high you know and it's uh, and part of it is reliving moments and taking things in going over things kind of in your own mind learning from what you just did uh, and then I get online and look, there's quite a few pictures on Facebook um, from the gig uh, in Dreama. If you were to just search us, you'll find them. And then I have several on my page, you know, of course, linked to my Facebook page. Um, but I uh, thought I'd come on and talk a little bit about some music to try to vibe with people. Um, Dave, Dave Prog and Jasmine asked me if I knew about um, uh, Zol, Zol Caravan. Absolutely. I don't have the vinyl. Um, as um, what the case was, was back when I was young and seeing the records, I was too young and broke to be able to afford, you know, even a one twentieth of what I could see and just freak out over. So. You know, I, I, I re remember it's almost like it was kind of a, a rare privilege to have been present when this music was happening. And, you know, you know, I was able to buy some, but um, I, di I did buy this Spellex um, CD issue of Zol Caravan GMBH, GMBH motherfuckers two years old on. And this is a, a kind of jam, kind of jazzy jam side of Kraut Rock, kind of like um, the Agitation Free Embryo Axis. I would say this is very good. Um, Chris4127 Basket and um, Big Star 1000 recently met up in Switzerland, which is just 
freaking fantastic. Those are two people uh, that I would um, love to meet in person. You know, I, I think I'd no, I would I would actually in all reality like to meet everyone and um, people who seemingly I don't um, jive with here live. <laughs> we would we would jive. It's it's just different, you know, in person. But those guys bought some killer records and one they they both bought was leo is it leo ferre and zoo and i don't have any leo but i have the american u.s version of the zoo and um i've shown this before i've had this for decades i got it as a cutout you know um in the 70s and um this is the band that's the Leo Ferre, I believe I'm saying his name correctly, is the backing band. And um, Big Star 1000 talked about the band a bit in his video. And uh, I'd love to find that record because this is excellent. This is great. Matter of fact, uh, French Blood, Sweat and Tears. Yeah, you know, and I like Blood, Sweat and Tears have their main albums. And these guys have their own flavor. That's a good comparison with the horns. But I'm going to switch and put this on. It speaks for itself. As old as it is, this is really good. The Sabotnik is, it's been forever since I played it. It's great. Yeah. And this is, uh, quickly, thank you people that show labels. I, you know, I do like that, yeah. This on the Mercury. Oh, the U.S. Mercury label. I'm going to turn this up a little bit. few other things just to just to show you know because I don't know if I've shown uh, yeah I've shown some of these before but some I haven't so uh, here's my uh, copy of Silver Apples of the Moon by Morton Sabotnik this is I believe his most famous piece of music um, none such and this is uh, an, um, an anomaly in my collection because the back was <clears throat> put on upside down <laughs> So, but this is, um, again, one of those, I guess what you would call sem seminal pieces of electronic music composition. Looking for the date. And it's pretty early, you know, it is. This is, uh, this is very good. So yeah, no, sorry, <clears throat> I don't, don't see a day, Morton Sabotnik. Zoo. 
Okay, um, here's an album by uh, kind of an outsider artist, is what I would call him. Um, it goes under a bunch of different names. Um, it's kind of lo-fi, Captain Beefheart-ish, but also even weirder. Milovan Sudenovic, Color These Bears. Came across this used, and uh, you know I'm intrigued by stuff like this, and it's cool because the uh, it's that's colored on with crayon, as well as on the record label. You know, Milovan, most likely he or did it himself. Yeah, it's actual crayon. And um, I just put this on because this is some, one of those kind of records where it's. And obscurity and oddity it's kind of more interesting than fun fun to listen to um, it's kind of goofy and uh, even at times kind of um, kind of smutty I think just for shock's sake or just because the guys kind of you know nutty but again excellent song song after song on this album This is such a good album. Then let me turn it down and try to show some more records. Ah, oh, that's it's a long time favorite of mine. Here's one that I managed to hang on to um, that was part of the American Antilles uh, release of the uh, Obscure Records series that uh, Brian Eno started. And this is the John Steele, Jan John Cage album. This is incredible. This is fantastic. And features and very early recording uh, of Fred Frith on guitar. Um, 1972, I believe, is when this was recorded. I believe this, yeah, be even before Henry Cowell had released anything. It's real. And the John Cage pieces are... This is excellent. Seriously. Seriously. And I was ripping on that, so uh, I don't think I've ever shown my copy of Slap Happy Henry Cow Desperate Straits. Once again, um, Dagmar Krause, the singer from Slap Happy who joined Henry Cow, either lover or hater voice. Hmm, getting a little bit of glitch up here. Okay. But this is... Um, 1974, I believe, is when this came out, and this is one of the one of the 75. Yeah, this is an original, or maybe second edition. You can tell, tell by the label. This is excellent. And then John Greaves, who played bass for uh, Henry Cow, did this album with Peter Blegvad and Lisa Herman, Q Roan. I've shown this before, but this is amazing. And seriously, if you're at all interested in prog, uh, jazz, rock, well, I don't know what else to call it, but just, you know, that's why I use the word prog, because that fits. This is really progressive, unusual, different, fresh, even today. This is excellent. Is this the green label? Yeah, another... Um, Still got the uh, insert, and uh, it's another green label. Bought these, bought these when they came out. And here's one that you see, I've seen um, in the bargain bins, which is a shame, because it's really good. John Greaves Accident. I tried to turn Nick Fackler of In Dream of Icky Blossoms onto this. He, it, it's not for him. It's not for everyone, but this is damned good. You know, if you have a sensibility for the Henry Cow thing going into hmm, almost kind of a, there's almost a, ah, I don't know, Leonard Cohen comes to mind for some reason. It's just really good though, and I just want to come on and vibe for a minute, let the video not be too long so it doesn't take forever to upload. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to say, I'll just leave it at the music. Um, I have more ECMs to show, I just, I'll, I'll get, I will show some more.